before we begin, those of you that are getting ready to purchase HomeGage or have recently purchased like the 4.4 version that we're in now, uh, the WorkScope feature is already going to be included. Uh, so you don't have to do anything. But for those of you that are existing users of HomeGage and are upgrading to 4.4 and you want to add this to your template, you'll need to do this. Go up to the top where it says template and choose options show work scope for this template okay and at the bottom here you'll see on your left at the bottom it says work scope so we're going to click on work scope and uh, here is your proposal the header and the footer of your proposal uh, the uh, proposal content uh, obviously uh, can be worded by you and if you'll select the magic wand here here's where you can have multiple uh, proposal content depending upon what it is you're bidding on and uh, I've got a couple in there selected you can add your own up here with these little buttons at the top so uh, from here we're just going to move on to estimates here's where you'll build your estimates and in order to build an estimate we need to create a job name now you can select this little hard hat here for a job name here you can type in a specific job name so if you're doing a specific estimate on a roof uh, you can say roof replacement and uh, create your job name uh, or you can select your magic wand and if you're doing multiple items you can go by priorities uh, like priority one two and three or in this case phase one two and three so we're going to select phase one and drop it in there it is okay and there's phase one proposal now we want to uh, create our own estimate items and if you if you're ready to create an item by scratch just by building it right now you can select this little plus bar the gold plus bar here where it says add work scope entry and here you can type in what it is whatever it is let's say it's uh, uh, flashing at uh, chimney Alright, and then you can create a detailed uh, comment here or, or uh, itemize what you're going to do. Um, so I'm just going to uh, speed things up by saying detailed work description. Here we can put in an estimate or a quote actually of uh, $325 and um, drop it in. Alright, so we can add one from scratch just like that. And then you can use you know your magic wand for your auto comments and all. Let's say I want to go back to that with it highlighted here. I just select edit, and then now I can uh, re I can change a few things or uh, edit the uh, comment. Next, I want to bring things in from the summary. So after all, what you normally do is you uh, create your report of all the different things you found. It automatically goes to the summary. And from right here, you can bring them in from the summary. You can pick and choose which ones you want uh, by selecting Add from Summary. Or you can select Add All from Summary, and it will bring them all in. So if we select this, it's kind of like a rapid fire. As soon as I get rid of this one, the next item in the summary comes up. So here, uh, let's just uh, say that uh, this is the exact comment, by the way, that was in the report, which I could edit. But let's say I'm happy with that. I'm going to say 400, select OK. And then you see the next item just came right up. So in this case, let's, uh, I'm not even really, you know, we're just doing these as examples. But uh, let's say this one's $190, and we're going to select OK. Now let's say that this one comes up, it's simple caulking, and uh, we don't want this on phase one, let's say we want it on phase two. Here I can just select uh, phase one, now I go to phase two, uh, which will be add new job. I can type in phase two or go to my magic one here for my auto comments, and now it says phase two, I can put in the amount that I uh, have for that, $65. All right, and you see it brings this one up again. This is a small item that belongs on phase two. We'll call it $85. And, oh, it's already on phase two. Okay, so we drop that in. Uh, this is a big ticket item, we're replacing the door and uh, doing some uh, resizing. So we're gonna go back to phase one on this one and put in uh, $560. Doing some air sealing. Let's say this was a, a really big job. We spelled it out in the report, by the way, so $1,800. All right, and let's say this one doesn't uh, involve the estimate. We've already talked about it, or it's just something that's not an estimate item. We just hit skip. You see here at the bottom, skip. 
This is a good time to show you a little more about this bottom window called Office Only, additional info. You can put in, it's your own option, uh, maybe it's a material list, maybe it's a protocol for your contractor on what to do. Uh, maybe there's something specific that you want to say on this. If you get the job, you want to be able to go back and look at this or hand this to the contractor. And drop that in. And so if you look at the bottom, it says, uh, there's my total. Okay, and we're at phase two right here, and let me just scroll up and show you, here's phase one. This is also a good time to go over different things that happen. So let's say you, if you're ready now, you'll just hit the print button, print out this work scope. It'll include your contract agreement, the uh, proposal uh, introduction uh, to your proposal, and these itemized estimates. And going over it with the homeowner, let's say for instance that flashing at uh, chimney is not uh, going to happen. She doesn't have the money or she says, look, I want to take that off. So uh, we're going to just touch the little green circle here. All right. And what it did was it turned it red. You see the little red circle. So it hid that. Now what we'll do is we could be right there in the truck and hit the print button again, print out the work scope right then to get her to uh, get him or her, the owner, to go ahead and sign the contract uh, without that item. So that's the cool feature is to be able to go back and hide certain items. And again, if she says, well, or the homeowner says, well, I can do phase one, but I just don't have the money right now for phase two, then you can just go back, open up the report, and then select the phase two, and it will actually hide the whole phase two uh, with a little red dot there. Okay. Then hit print button. It'll print out the uh, contract agreement, the work scope, get the signature on it, and then you can uh, start performing the work. At that point, you can just print out the revised work scope, uh, get your signatures, and uh, go on to the next job. Uh, one more point to make is this is a great opportunity for home inspectors who are contractors. Even if you're not doing the work, it's an extra service that you can provide that would help the uh, buyer to be able to take your inspection items, go to a contractor, and say, I would like for you to do it this way. Uh, so you can print out two copies, give her one with the estimates, give her one without the estimates, so she can take that and present that to different contractors and uh, get bids on the work. It's a great service that you can add, and I'm sure many buyers would appreciate it. Thank you.